Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Alan Schneider. I'm the director of the B'nai B'rith World Center in Jerusalem. Um, I'm here, I suppose, to wake you all up uh, on this second day of uh, our conference and help to get, get this session underway. Uh, I want to open, actually, by thanking my partners at the Bessa Center, uh, Dr. Ephraim, uh, Ephraim Inbar, uh, with whom I first developed the concept of this uh, conference a couple of years ago, uh, Dr. Iran Lerman, uh, and also Ambassador Arya Mekel. Uh, all three devoted much time, thoughtfulness, and effort into bringing this conference to fruition, and I want to express my gratitude to them for this very beneficial collaboration. I also want to thank the Executive Vice President of B'nai B'rith, uh, Daniel Mariashin, uh, who actually opened the conference uh, yesterday evening, for embracing the initiative, uh, and also to our supporters, Irving Silver and Martin Oliner, for their generosity. As uh, some of the audience may know, B'nai B'rith has been deeply invested and anchored uh, in this region for nearly 130 years. The B'nai B'rith Jerusalem Lodge, established in 1888, uh, which is nine years before the establishment of the Zionist movement, engaged in numerous activities to further the prospects for Jewish sovereignty in the land of Israel, including the establishment of B'nai B'rith lodges um, across the Ottoman Empire with the purpose of building support for a Jewish state. We also uh, are cognizant of the positive ties that existed between the kings of Israel in antiquity uh, and the peoples of the region. Uh, famous just some famous examples of the assistance provided by uh, Melech Hiram um, to Solomon, King Solomon, for the building of the temple, uh, and the invitation by the Spartan kings to the Hasmoneans to take refuge in their city-state. For uh, those of you who were not here for the exciting opening session yesterday and were unable to catch it on the live webcast, which is available throughout this conference, I would just say that we had three excellent presentations that helped to set the broad parameters of our discussion. Professor David Abulafia of Cambridge University addressed the periods of integration and disintegration that have plagued the Mediterranean basin in general and the Eastern Mediterranean which is the focus of this conference in particular. Mr. Michael Duran of the Hudson Institute painted a vivid picture of American retreat from the region and its dire consequences also for, the, for Israel. And Professor Ephraim Barr, director of the Bessa Center, directed most of his remarks to the negative role played by Turkey in the region. In this session, we are going to bore down into different national perspectives on the challenges presented by the Eastern Mediterranean as it is constituted today. We will hear an Israeli perspective from uh, Major General Yaakov Amidror, a Greek perspective from member of the Hellenic Parliament, Dr. Vasilis Kikilias, an Egyptian perspective from Ambassador Tzvi Mazel, and the perspective of, the, of energy interests from Dr. Amit Moore. <laughs> 